Our Father Cares, a daily YouTube devotional with Christian Bredahl and the Shepherd's Call team. Join us for today's devotional thought. Good morning and thank you for joining us for the Shepherd's Call Daily Devotional. Let's have a word of prayer before we begin. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the opportunity to read your word and to be able to learn more that we can use in our lives today and to share with others as well. We ask you would send your Holy Spirit to guide us and teach us today. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, May 7, the priceless pearl. And uh, you're going to read our verse for us? Yes. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who when he had four or found one pearl of great price, went and sold all the that he had and bought it. Matthew 13, 45 and 46. Wow. So that's a cool story mm. and uh, has a good message in it. A very good message. Let's start reading. Mm -hmm. This goodly pearl represents the priceless treasure of Christ, as does the gold hid in the field. In Christ we have everything that is needful for us in this life, and that which will make up the joy of the world to come. All the money in the world will not buy the gift of peace and rest and love. How many times do we see that happen in the yes. world, you know? You've got all these really rich people, these millionaire actors and famous people, and uh, some of them end up killing themselves. Yeah. So you know that yeah. money doesn't buy happiness. It just doesn't happen. No. And uh, so that's, that's a very much truth. So if, when you ever feel like, you're like, man, I just need more money. And sometimes you do need more money for certain things to pay bills. And, I mean, you need money. But there are a lot more important things than having excess money because you know that just doesn't bring the happiness, peace, and joy, and rest, and love, and all these things that we really need. These gifts are provided through us, for us through faith in Christ. We cannot purchase these gifts from God. We have nothing with which to buy them. We are the property of God, for mind, soul, and body have been purchased by the ransom of the life of the Son of God. Mm -hmm. Wow, so we can't purchase these things. So even if you had all the money in the world, you can't buy love. Um, but what's cool is that you can, be, you can have nothing and still have the love of Christ mm -hmm. because he, right. he loves every one of us with infinitely. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Richard, are you going to read sure. the next paragraph? Then what is it to buy the eternal treasure? It is simply to give back to Jesus his own, to receive him into the heart by faith. It is cooperation with God. It is bearing the yoke with Christ. It is lifting his burdens. The Lord Jesus laid aside his royal crown. He left his high command. He clothed his divinity with humanity in order that through humanity he might uplift the human race. He so appreciated the possibility of the human race that he became man's substitute and surety. He places upon man his own merit and thus elevates him in the scale of moral value with God. Wow. So he laid aside his royal crown, left his high command. So that's a little bit to give up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Like, oh, I don't want to <laughs> give up this small little thing. You know, I mean, <laughs> come on, right? <laughs> I mean, it's easy to say that, but of yeah. course, it's very hard for us to give up even the small things in life. Yeah. But then when you think about what Christ gave up to be able to be uh, life for us, mm -hmm. that it's just amazing. And yeah. he really is that priceless pearl that, and he's just saying, all I want for you is just to simply give back to, to me what your life. I gave yes. my life for you. So yes. all you can do is give me your living, your living sacrifice. That's what he wants mm. us to be, right? That's a right. living sacrifice. Yeah. He wants us to live a life laid down and, and surrender to, to him. Mm. That's right. Mm. All right. Could you read okay. the next part there? Christ is the atoning sacrifice. He left the glory of heaven. He parted with his riches. He laid aside his honor. Nor, not in order to create love and interest for man in the heart of God, but to be an exponent of the love that existed in the heart of the Father. Jesus paid the price of all his riches. He assumed humanity. He con conden condescended to a life of poverty and humiliation in order that he might seek and save that which was lost. Wow. <clears throat> so it said he paid the price of all his riches. And he assumed humanity. I think that's 
probably yeah. one of the biggest sacrifices <laughs> for sure. And he ascended to, uh, condescended to a life of poverty and humiliation. So mm -hmm. it wasn't just he gave up his throne. It wasn't just he gave up the riches of heaven. It wasn't just that he became a human being. He also yeah. became a poor human being and one that went through lots of humiliation. Do you know anybody mm -hmm. besides him that has ever done anything <laughs> like that? Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nobody has. I, not that I know of. I mean, there's been That's a lot a of people through history yeah. that have given sacrifices and done yeah. lots mm. of things for their countries or for different things. I'm sure there are. But he's he gave everything, you know. And I mean, nobody's been part of a, a kingdom from another place that was perfect and came right. to a sinful world yeah. and had to give up all the, the treasures of a perfect world and, and mm. heaven and all this stuff to be able to just save people that didn't even mm. accept him. I mean, there was just a handful of people. I mean, even his disciples left him when he was at his mm -hmm. most trying hour. Mm -hmm. Even his best friends that on earth, mm -hmm. you know, that, that were with him all well, the time. Well, there are a lot of people in wartime, you mm -hmm. know, that will, you know, be, get, take my life in order to save, you know, right. these people or whatever. Exactly. It's like, and, you know. it, and we have, I mean, we're blessed in this country to have the people yeah. that were given up their lives mm -hmm. so we could have yeah. fr freedom. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so, you know, People are willing. They're like, I want to join the military and fight for our country and stuff. But it's like, well, God asks you to do that too. He asks you to fight for him and to, to go out. And yeah, it might be scary, just like it is being on the front lines in the, in the military. But it's the same. Front lines for God work, God's work is scary in some ways. You know, I mean, you're going to get humiliated. You might even be poor and, and not left with much. But mm -hmm. Christ wasn't either. I mean, he, he slept on, on a rock sometimes <laughs> with his pillow. I mean, it's not... He and the disciples were kind of homeless in a way. You know, they traveled yeah. around and, and uh, because this wasn't their final home. This was, this was a mission field for them. Yeah. This was a war. This was, I'm fighting for, for God, you know, and that's what, that's what they did. Um, and so that's something we need to remember yeah. to do as well. Mm -hmm. um, are you reading the last paragraph mm -hmm. there? <laughs> Thank you. Through the grace of Christ, we may be strengthened and matured so that though now imperfect, we may become complete in him. We have mortgaged ourselves to Satan, but Christ came to ransom and redeem us. We cannot purchase anything from God. It is only by grace, the free gift of God in Christ, that we are saved. Mm. Wow. Mm. There's lots. Of, there's a couple promises there. Yes. Yeah, definitely. We are, we may be strengthened through the grace yeah. of Christ and matured. Mm -hmm. So now, so the, now that we're imperfect, we may become complete yes. in Him. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And it's also scary because it says we have mortgaged ourselves to Satan. Mm. Yeah. Well, and I, I know what a mortgage is like. I just, we just bought our first home. <laughs> yeah. And you feel like you're like, well, I kind of owe somebody something. Uh -huh. I mean, you're kind of stuck now, yeah. you know, in a way. You've got this, like, mortgage that you're going to pay, you know. Well, that, she years. says we have mortgaged ourselves to Satan. That means we're kind of stuck. I mean, we're, we have, mm -hmm. we're in that and we're mortgaged ourselves out to him. But it says, but Christ came to ransom and redeem us. So he came to pay that price. He came to pay off that mm -hmm. debt to get you free from those chains of being in a mortgage, you know, kind of thing yeah. is, is what, uh, what, that, what he's saying there. Mm -hmm. um, that's an amazing promise. That sure is. But uh, mm -hmm. any last thoughts? <laughs> Not today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, just remember, friends, that it is only by grace, the free gift of God in Christ, that we are saved. Why? Because our Father cares. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, like that.